Yomiori Senpai being the goat as always. Look at her. Mmm. Thinking about her. Mmm. The body. Mmm. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Tiffin Nation? It's me, the Tiffin Muncher here again, and yes, this is gonna be a sl a short video, not slow, a short video of a mini unboxing about the series that's about to come out, and that is Days with My Stepsister or Gimai Seikatsu. Um, like I said, this is not your typical step siblings rom com anime or series, you know. It's, its approach is realistic, wholesome, and basically like Origairu. But anyway, here's the package. Yeah, let's open this up. So, I don't know if I'll do a compilation of this unboxing. Here's the, uh, the packaging. I got this yesterday, but I didn't open it because yesterday was the day that my channel is going to be terminated. It is out. Here's how they pack it. It's here. You can see it. Here it is. Voila. Let's take it out. Whoa. Yeah. Um, it took me a while to get this. It was already out for like a while now. Anyway, here it is. It's sealed. I took the tape out, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna unbox it anyway. I was actually waiting for Fully Book to stock it, but nope, they don't have it yet. Am I doing it right? Whoa. This is much thinner than Volume One. Yeah, I think it has less than less than uh, the pages of uh, Volume One. Yeah, collection is growing. I'm a big fan of this series, even though I haven't read it all of it, but yeah. I'll read them when I finish college. <laughs> Here's volume two. This is where Saki gets closer and closer to Yuta or Asamura. And then volume three is where things go down between the two of them. And that is where the confession happened. And I'm pretty sure that's where the anime will adapt the, uh, you know, the light novels um, adaptation or the anime's adaptation to from the light novel. So yeah, I think it's up to volume three. And then volume four would be up to Kadokawa if they ever produce an anime. Yeah, here's volume two's cover. Pretty good. Hiten Sensei's art illustration is so good. And Ghost Mikawa Sensei's story for this one is just peak. So yeah. How close is too close? Yuta Asamura is figuring out is still figuring out how to interact with his new stepsister Saki Ayase. After discovering they have more in common than expected, yeah, yeah, the two reach a comfortable equilibrium. But things start to get out of whack when Saki fails one of her exams and asks for Yuta's help. Then Yuta's attractive college-age co-worker Shiori Senpai invites him out on a date and Saki finds a strange new emotion welling up in her heart. Just what is this feeling? Uh-huh. What is that feeling, Saki? So yeah. That's volume two. Here's the side in case you uh, want to see it again. But uh, yeah. The back. Here is Empire's art illustration right there. Let's open it up. Sheesh. More expanded art or illustration of the front cover. Yep. So this is the first time, but they always use this in on uh, on YouTube. You know, you know that lo-fi, um, chill music. Whenever you want, but yeah, yeah. So this is the scene where Yuta recommended some music for her to chill and study. So, yeah, so that it suits her and calms her down, you know, be in the mood. And I love the illustration. Saki is just beautiful, man. Shiori Senpai. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a, I'm simping on Shiori Senpai as well. Like, she's a very, very 
attractive, you know, beautiful senpai and the great senpai. You know, a, just a great character in general. You're funny and you're nice. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Well, you see, she mumbled hesitantly as I waited. The glow from the vending machine dimmed and Yomiori's face, uh, Shiro senpai, fell into shadow. We both stopped talking and silence permitted the midnight park. Beyond her, I saw buildings rising up like black tombstones. Hey, Yuta, there's something I have to tell you. Yeah, this is the conversation between the two of them. I'm not going to spoil, obviously. There's Maya and Asamura or Yuta. <laughs> wow, Narasaka, son, you're amazing. You're just like a home economics teacher. What? <laughs> Can't you use a cooler example? How about a first-rate chef who's just returned from France? But then you wouldn't be a teacher. I guess that's true. <laughs> she smiled as if she didn't have a care in the world. You're amazing too, Asamura. You're a super fast learner. It makes me want to teach you more and more. Oh, this is the cooking session? Okay. Oh, yeah, they have this now. That's great. Yeah, they're like intellect or like their scores when it comes to um, the, 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 the subjects. Look at that. Modern Japanese for Utah is 96 over 100. Crazy. Yeah, it's pretty much average. You know, his lowest is uh, physics 70. <laughs> well, physics from my time was really good, but not anymore, I guess. Uh, I fall out, or I fell out of love um, from uh, from physics, science. Look at Saki score Japanese history is 100. Crazy. And then Maru, best bro, has a lot of good scores. The lowest is chemistry, 82. As for Maya, she has high scores as well. Lowest is math. Take a look at the illustrations. Okay, it's the same. Illustrations. Look at the mom, <laughs> Akiko. Reina Wed is voicing her. She's just amazing. Contents. Oh yeah, it's the dates. Yeah, I forgot. They are the dates. The contents are the dates or the titles. The final problem she would solve was tougher than the most impenetrable novel. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is the time where Saki approached Yuta because of a uh, test. Yeah. The score, uh huh, yeah, I remember. Okay, there's Maya, cute, very cute. Senpai, oh my god, look at how gorgeous she is, she's so pretty. Itadakimas, yeah, wholesome, very wholesome. There's the mom and the dad, yeah, oh yeah, the, the date with uh, Senpai, yeah, ye boy. Look at how beautiful she is. I love her. <laughs> I'm simping on her and I'm simping on Saki. Both. <laughs> I love both. <laughs> and look at Saki sleeping and Asamura or Yuta being a gentleman with Saki. Yeah, see? This is what I'm telling you. This is peak realistic approach of step siblings and how they deal with their romance relationship all right so stop memeing the heck out of the series because i love it <laughs> and plus it's not your typical step siblings oh yeah this is senpai and saki's first interaction cute love it this is where saki gets jealous over senpai <laughs> she or senpai oh the elevator <laughs> cute jealousy eight answer jealousy look at saki yeah, because we have some uh, Saki's diaries. Yeah, Saki's diary. Here's a question for me. Saki Aya says, sum up this ugly sentiment you're experiencing in a word. Answer, jealousy. Ooh, someone's jealous. Jelly. I love Saki, man. She's, she's best girl, along with Senpai. Yeah, boys, the collection is growing. I love it. I'm loving it. I love this series so much. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. So far, there's only two 
volumes of this series. So, um, yeah. Anyway, see you guys then. So, got a lot of uh, haul videos. So, uh, I'm just going to have to compile it up because I didn't know that my YouTube account will take this long to get up and running again. Well, yeah. So, apart from Blue Box, Oshinoko, uh, Game I Say Kutsu, or Days with My Stepsister Hall, we got another one. Yeah. And this is a part of that. So, you know what's inside this one? It's the Eminence in Shadow. So, here we go. I'm going to open this up now. Eminence in Shadow light novels are very expensive. So, that's why the purchase are slower when it comes to this series. I support them legally by buying the light novel and paying some things in the game <laughs> because it's the only way I can support them. I can't support them on high dive because it's US and I don't have Billy Billy Premium. So that's another thing that I can't do. So as much as possible, I'm buying the light novel and purchasing some things in the game. Big, uh, big package. <laughs> Well, obviously, this is a big package because it's the Eminence in Shadow. So, I take this tape out. Here we go. What's inside? Okay. So, uh, take this out. Yoink. Oh, there's a bookmark. Okay. All right. So, open this up. Securely wrapped up. Interesting. Very, very nice. Well, I'm gonna ruin the bubble wrap anyway, so, uh, there you go. Okay. Uh huh. There you go. Okay. That took me forever <laughs> with the cutter as well. What? It's also taped here. Oh. Look at that. Securely packaged. Very nice. You can tell that they put in so much work and care for this one because uh, it's securely packaged. And it arrived fairly decently two days. So there you go. All right. And the bookmark. I don't know what kind of bookmark is this? What is this? Yeah, here's the uh, the bookmark. They also have a receipt, which is good. <laughs> wow. You never see that often in uh, online shopping. Volume four of the Eminence in Shadow. I can read ahead. <laughs> like before the movie even starts I can definitely read ahead you know but I'm not going to because I want the full experience the cinematic experience you know what I'm saying so yeah wow okay I got two books of the eminence in shadow currently I got volume one and I got volume four you this is my first time collecting these kinds of uh, light novels, you know, the hard cover and the very thick books. Like you can tell, it's really good. Like the quality of these books are so good. Yeah, Eminence in Shadow and Overlord has the same type of um, hard cover. So yeah, you can see, you can take this out and you got this. Sheesh. Wow. It's so good. Yen Press. Look at that. This is awesome, bro. The door of darkness is cast open. The world advances to a new field. The specter of war hangs thick in the air of the Oriana Kingdom. Okay, so this is the end. Or the last arc of season two, where Princess Rose is expected to wed Duke Perv. <laughs> this supposed marriage cannot and will not stand, though, as it would throw a major wrench in a certain Shadow Workers' plans. Not one to miss an opportunity for sleuthing, Sid makes his way to the royal capital to put a stop to the ceremony. But are there even bigger schemes at work behind the unholy matronomy? What is that? Well, I'm learning. I'm learning new things in the <laughs> learning new things every day. I love the cover. Look at uh, Nishino there. Akane, right? That's Akane, right? Nishino. Gamma in the back cover. 
Yo. This is really, really nice. If she becomes the monarch, my eminence in shadow play acting will become that much cooler. <laughs> oh, the banquet of slaughter begins now. There's Mordred, Rose, 664, 665, Epsilon, and Beta. We want to check our answers on a few things on the Black Rose, on the Magical Beasts, and on Diablos. Look at that. Sheesh. All right. Oh, that looks sick. The skies are under my dominion. Engrave that knowledge in your flesh within my birdcage of darkness. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is awesome, bro. The the illustrations are amazing. Oh, there she is, Akane. Oh, new characters. I see. You look so similar. Hmm? You're guests of Messiah now. Guests of Messiah? Messiah? You look so similar. For now, all we can do is pray. He's not our enemy. You're gonna wanna think of... You're, you're gonna wanna think long and hard about the position you're in. Okay. So, Akira is uh, with the glasses, Megane. Haitani, who are you? And you die Saijima. Okay. And then Akane Nishino. Alright. So spoilers <laughs> for the movie. Yeah. Okay, so where did they left off? Oh chapter three. So they ended with chapter three and then auxiliary chapter is the beginning. Up to epilogue. That's the movie arc. So page 115 to 227, or more like 250 pages. Ah. So more than 100 pages will be adapted into a movie. That's good. Wow. Yeah, I love the light novel of Emerence in Shadow. It's just so good. Yeah, the, uh, the texture and everything. Oh, Victoria? Oh, wow. Oh. The supposedly holy character is now unholy <laughs> and is now full of shadow summer. Oh, okay. So this <laughs> the maid Epsilon and Sid <laughs> about the piano. Yeah. Reliving the moment of the eminence in shadow. Okay. So this is the wedding. Yeah. Look at my wife. <laughs> Rose. Poor her. She deserves so much better. Waganawa Shadow Atomic I am Atomic Oh he did, yeah, he did say that I'm Atomic <laughs> I'm Atomic Huh? Alright Look at that That's crazy And look at the The text <laughs> I'm Atomic Auxiliary chapter. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is the beginning of it all. Yeah. So this is the uh, the prologue or like the episode one. Yeah. See. What the hell is this? Huh? Is this beta? Yeah. It, it is beta. Hey yo. What the hell is? <laughs> I'm horny. Hey yo. Nah, bro. <laughs> okay, who is who are these? So, yeah, we got we're getting a lot of characters on Earth, the apocalyptic Earth, huh? What the hell? Yeah, these are so spoilery. I don't know what this is, but yeah, it's uh, out of context. I'm not gonna read the text because it's spoilers. Oh, they're back. Hmm? They're back. Yeah, because it's Alpha and Epsilon with Beta now. Okay. I mean, we all know that they're going to come back, but... Okay, so it's in the movie. Alright. Cool. Victoria. 664 and 665. I love the illustrations, bro. These are so good. Minoru Kage no. Ohayo, Nishimura-kun. Nishimura-san. Nishitani. Very nice. I love it. So... 
worth it. <laughs> um, I bought it much cheaper online because it has a sale tag on discount. So I'm like, why not? So far, the only ones left is um, Volume 2 and 3 as of the moment. And then Volume 5 will release somewhere around this July or in August. Yeah. But anyway, only got two for now. Collection is growing, and plus, I am going to collect all of Eminence in Shadow because I love the series. Yo, what's up, Tiff Nation? It's me, the Tiff Monster here again. And I'm gonna compile up everything that I bought online. And uh, yeah, hopefully, it's not long. But yeah, a mega haul, kinda, technically. So yeah, I'm gonna set aside my Transformer, just bring out everything that I've purchased. So, in. Uh, recently, as you all may know, I have indeed purchased a lot of books, and those are He May Say Gutsu, This is My Stepsister Volume 2. I already have this, The Eminence of Shadow Volume 1, and this one as my most recent purchase as well. Volume 4. This was the latest English translation, official English uh, translation by Yen Press. So, yeah, I already opened this up, but uh, yeah, it's all official. So, this time I purchased another one. So, let's open this up. All right, here it is. I can see the books. Ooh, baby, I can see it. All right, let's take this out. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, at first I thought I wasn't gonna be getting this because it was sold out and that bookstore only stocks one every time they release things so yeah they tip this in huh we have days with my stepsister volume 3 yes this is the latest volume volume 4 isn't out yet it's gonna take a while for them to release this volume 4 and then because volume 4 is the end of the anime's adaptation so I won't be able to show it when it's done and this one almost sold out and I'm I was like when it got back I was like fuck it I'm gonna buy it I don't even care yeah, I lose my money then I'll lose my money eminence in shadow light novel volume 5 boy bro I I was contemplating, I was for sure not gonna get it, but then I got it. <laughs> My collection is growing for the Eminence in Shadow. So far, I don't have volume two and three, but I have one, four, and the latest volume five. So that is a good sign. And so far, I'm still complete with Days and My Stepsister or Game My Seikatsu. Anime is currently airing right now, and it's peak, anim anime adaptation is peak. So, yeah, as you can see right there, complete so far. One, two, and three. I'm so glad that I purchased these, and I don't regret buying them. Uh, let's take out this first. It makes me not want to open it because it's a um, mint, you know. It's well packaged as well. Way better packaging. I can just slide it. <laughs> All right. So far, complete with my collection, and I'm so happy. Look at that. Wow. Yep. Having your collection being complete looks so good. So yeah. Get the the art again. You can tell it's authentic. Because I bought it in an authentic uh, shopping. Online shopping. Bookstore. Yeah. Love it. Going to school with my stepsister. And bye, oh, bye. I love my my Shiori Senpai. You know what I'm saying? Yomiori Senpai being the goat as always. Imagining the beach. Look at her. Mmm. Thinking of ours. Mmm. The body. Mmm. <laughs> what about you? Have you gone anywhere this summer? Mmm. Who me? You bet. I put on a a wicked swimsuit and hung out at the beach where all the boys hit on me. Yeah, in your dreams, your senpai. But uh, that's gotta be true, though. Your <laughs> senpai is so gorgeous. 
Look at Saki right there as well. I saved this image as well. <laughs> you know, I'm a simp. Ooh, diary. Oh, they, oh, this is so cool. They put a diary like this one as well. That's so nice. And then the characters. Yeah, and then the contents. Natsuyasumi. Our relationship is simple. It's our hearts that makes it that make it complicated. Uh huh. E. E. Shiori Senpai. I love me some uh, Shiori Senpai. I love her so much. There's our boy Maru and Asamura or Yuta. There's stepmom. <laughs> Talking with our boy. Shiori Senpai. Yomiyori Senpai the goat. And Saki and Shiori Senpai talking. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those rivalry. <laughs> Look at the rivalry, man. With Yuta in the middle as well. <laughs> That's funny. Saki in days with our boy. <laughs> She's in love, bro. Oh, Maya. <laughs> yeah. In her cute bikini. Oh, brother. I love Saki's outfit. Look at that swimsuit. It's <clears throat> perfection. Gorgeous. You know, it's not seductive in any way, you know, if you think about it. But, like, it's so elegant looking, you know? It doesn't have to be seductive to be beautiful. And that's a fact. Oh, and they made this illustration. Nice. That's cool. When they went back home together. And spoiler alert. Saki's short hair. You know what that means in Japanese culture. No, 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 no. Oh, they're also, they're also, um, advertising 86. That's nice. And, uh, Spice and Wolf. Solo leveling as well. Oh, wait. Solo leveling? They're, it's Yen Press? I didn't know. Lamel. Overlord as well. Oh, yeah, it's Yen Press because it's the same as, uh, Eminence in Shadow. Anyway, that's uh, volume three of Gimai Seikatsu, Days with My Stepsister. Love it. Collection complete so far. And we're jumping in to the eminence in Shadow. I'm going to get spoiled so bad, but anyway, here, go. here goes nothing. All right. Ooh. Oh, baby. Bro, my, my hands are sweaty, and it makes me not want to touch the book. I'm going to ruin the cover. Oh my god volume five the eminence in shadow the empress yen on look at that the illustration is shadow epsilon zeta and eta bask in the glory eminence in shadow fans oh brother all right let's take this out as well they have delta as well nice Volume 5. Before much longer, the white fog will engulf the world in silence. All is well at the Midgar Academy. Oh, wait, we're back here for dark nights. But then something wicked suddenly draws near. The students are vanishing one by one. Even Sid's older sister, Claire. Wait, what? Zeta of the Seven Shadows sets off to investigate while Sid and Alexia embark for Claire's room where they find an ancient script, cool magic circles, cool magic circles, and incantations that seem important and yet don't actually do anything whatsoever. What does it all mean? And why has Claire been talking to herself so much lately? Oh, is it still connected to um, Aurora? Okay. Let's take this off for a while. <coughs> Look at that red. Ugh, I love it. Every time, bro. Every time. <sighs> I love it. Accuse us for the sins of the world. Ooh, interesting. The quote at the top right there. Chronologically speaking, I was actually first. If anything, she's the one who plagiarized, who plagiarized me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, Rose. Oh, my God. I love my queen. Oh, my God. Rose is still the queen of the Oriana Kingdom. All right, I'm glad that she's doing better. Alpha Gamma Eta, number 664. Rose Oriana, number 665. Oh, they're maids for Rose? 
then as long as your resolve f f holds firm, the Shadow Guardian will not forsake you. This, I swear. Okay. Would you look at that? They had some agreement. That's nice. I will become a strong queen. That's my girl. Best girl. <laughs> Christina Hope. Who are you? Isaac, Nina, Claire Kaganam, Alexia Midgar, Suzuki Hope. Dari. Who? As things are, we're just sitting around waiting to die. My right hand is throbbing. I can sense it. Oh, Claire. Oh, Aurora. Ooh, interesting. Iris Midgar, Nina, Zeta, Christina Hope. Just what kind of burden are you carrying? My enemy is Shadow, and I'll mow down anyone who gets in my way, even my own sister. So you have chosen death. You motherfucker. Iris has fallen into the dark side now. Uh, she's she's a lost cause after that fight with Shadow and Beatrix. Mm, with Beatrix, haven't you seen it? Haven't you seen in a while, young one? Young one. I was just a tiny kitten, and our master took me in. Oh, what? Okay. We're getting introduced to a lot of new characters, huh? Contents, prologue, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, epilogue, and appendix. Well, page 239. Okay. It ends in shadow. Dude, I love this book so much. That's why it's so good to collect all the light novels of the Eminence in Shadow. Because, like... They all look so good in your collection, you know? Let's see what kinds of illustration we have. Delta and Zeta, the rivalry, obviously, of course. And Sid in the middle. <laughs> I love it. Christina Hope or Nina? I don't know. I think this is Nina. Yeah, I don't know your character. I'm not going to spoil myself and I'm not going to theorize anything about this either. Because these are all spoiler territory, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Epsilon. Oh, wait. Epsilon and Claire. Oh, with Aurora whispering to Claire. Oh. What? Okay. I'm interested. All right. All right. We'll see that in the future. Well, they're not gonna forsake the anime adaptation because the anime is successful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're not gonna abandon this. Obviously, they're gonna adapt more. It's peak eminence in Shadow. They have a game as well, man. Come on. They have a lot of budget. Oh, it's Shadow. Killing bandits, I guess. Or cult. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. I love the art, bro. The illustrations in the light novels are so good. Oh, this is the past. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. So we're getting a backstory? <clears throat> oh, I mean, I guess it says chapter 3 flashback, I guess. That's Alpha, right? And that's Zeta? That's how they recruited the sixth member of the seven shades seven shadows Dare, who are you i don't know these characters and i'm not gonna read i am not gonna spoil myself all right all right um let's see what else we have if i missed an illustration i'm sorry i'm like scheming through it because yeah <laughs> i'm hungry as well i haven't eaten oh we have Alexia and Claire. Why does Claire's eyes look like this? Is she possessed by Aurora at this moment? Damn, okay, girl. Yo, I love I love me some Aurora action, brother. And when the masquerade happened in the game, which is somehow connected to the story, it makes me want more Aurora. Oh, look at this art. Oh, this is sick. Look at Shadow, bro. That's awesome. Is this another I am atomic moment? I feel like it is, so I'm not gonna read. Alright, that's it, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Uh huh. So another event. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, this is Aurora! Oh. Oh. This is Aurora, right? She was, When she was a kid. Characters Zeta and Ita. It's age 17. I'll shoulder all the sin. Sacrifices have to be made in order to advance shadow wisdom. I love Ita, bro. <laughs> she's too lazy. But she's strong from what I heard. Look at Aurora, bro. Oh! Aurora's outfit is like the same as the game. 
the Shadow Festival Aurora here, right here. As you can see, Aurora's outfit. That's like her outfit in the game, the the Shadow Fest, the one that I have. It's the same outfit, right? Like the purple outfit. It's a violet. <laughs> Ita's research journal. Oh, wait, it's not Natsumi Sensei or Beta anymore. Oh, that's sick. I love that. Ita's research journal. I'm pretty sure there's going to be stuff here that's actually important, so I'm not going to read it for now. And then there's an afterword for Sensei. The anime adaptation, for example, and the video game. As of right now, December 2022, the anime is currently airing and getting some good buzz. Yeah. I've been involved a bit as the original creator, but I have to say, the staff has done a bang-up job on the adaptation. Ah, that's nice. I'd like to take this moment to express how thankful I am to everyone involved in the anime production. Thank you all so, so much. Ah, I've, been al I've also been helping out behind the scenes on the Master of Garden mobile game. I know that for a fact because Sensei has been writing stories exclusively for the game itself. So that is why I play the game not only because I want to play it, but also because of the story. There are stories there that are going to enhance the anime and the light novel as well. Because there are some original stories that weren't told in the light novel and in the anime. More so than uh, the manga as well. In Seven Shadow Chronicles, Seven Shadows Chronicles, stories are full to bursting with Seven Shadows content. Yes, exactly. And I've been super, uh, and I've been supervising all of them. They've also been gracious enough to let me write some bonus material for the game's main story, which is another way you can experience the original plotline. Yes, the main story has been also sometimes has original content in it, like the monologues of Sid, uh, this uh, Shadows monologue, you know, and other things. So that's why I thought for and another one as well uh, when they uh, invaded before shadow did his i am atomic moment you know before he did that there's another original content there and there has been other original contents that i can't tell fully because you know uh, it's been a while and i know I, I it's clear in my head where they all have original contents in the main in the main plot line as well the game is still running and it's filled with stories i couldn't fit in the novels so i'd love it if you gave it a try Exactly. Thank you, Sensei, for actually doing this and for actually uh, commenting on it, writing about it on your afterword in the light novel. Like earlier, I'd also like to take a moment to express how thankful I am to everyone who had been working on the game. Thank you all so, so much. On top of that, there are some figurines coming out. Yeah, Alpha. I can't believe Alpha and Beta are really getting figurines. Yeah, they are. I, and I've seen it. I've seen it in person, okay, in the anime merch store that I went to the aniporium so yeah and such high quality ones at that between that and all the other merch in the pipeline too this last year and a half has truly been a wild ride truly for the eminence in shadow i'd also like to extend some special shout outs to my editor who's been right there with me every step of the way even as my progress on volume 5 completed stack completely stagnated to tozai who's brought the eminence in shadow to life the illustrator <clears throat> through their countless fantastic illustrations to Araki from Balcoloni, whose incredible designs adorn this book. I think that's a manga writer? I don't know. And to everyone who waited patiently for Volume 5 to come out, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. With that being said, I'm going to buckle down to make sure that the wait for Volume 6 is shorter than it was for this one. Yeah, it's been a while, right? Like, uh, like Sensei said, over a year and a half. Wow, that long. With that being said, yeah, I hope to see you all then. Daisuke Aizawa. Hey, thank you so much, Sensei, for creating such a wonderful story. Peak comedy and peak action, peak story, peak isekai. So, yeah, they also uh, <laughs> advertised 86, Spice and All, Solo Leveling, etc. Overlord. Yeah, Tanya. And so I'm Spider, so what? And Reign of the Seven Spellblades. I didn't know that. All right. That is volume five of The Eminence in Shadow. I love it. It's it's a wild journey for me as well. From being a uh, a regular fan 
that just supports the series by watching and playing the game to actually buying the light novels. That goes to show you that I'm a huge fan of the Eminence in Shadow now, so yeah, I'm gonna set aside the things that I have not purchased throughout this online shopping. So these are all the books that I have purchased throughout. We have Days in My Stepsister completed for so far. Volumes 1, 2, and 3. All official books. You can tell. <laughs> and of course, I buy official ones. Um, I don't know if I've purchased a fake one yet. But uh, yeah. Because someone said it on my blue box. Because I didn't purchase that on a fully book. So I ha I'll have to double check. And then the Eminence in Shadow Volumes 1, 4, and 5. I don't have Volume 2 and 3 yet, but I will get them eventually when I have the budget. But for now, I only purchased the recent volume because I know this is going to get so hard to find. So I purchased it immediately. All right. So, yeah, I'm glad that I purchased Volume 4 and 5. So it's, it's wild that uh, the gap between these two books have been that long. Over a year and a half. Damn. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a wild purchases recently. Like, I've bought so many. Like, Eminence and Shadow Light novels are the most expensive ones. So, that is why my progress on buying the light novels are very slow. Although, I do get the recent volumes first before the, the volumes 2 and 3. I only got volume 1 because I want to see it in person you know how volume one was adapted and then volume two and three will be in my possession soon but for now let's set it aside and i purchased volume four and five because they are the recent volumes so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys on another haul eventually if i do purchase some more that is i only buy these because I got the money from YouTube and that is because of you guys. Without you guys, without you uh, watching me, liking the video, helping me through the algorithm of YouTube, I wouldn't be able to purchase these and I wouldn't be able to show them to you guys. So yeah, with that in mind, I know that you guys are the ones that are keeping me in this, uh, in this platform, keeping me alive, keeping this uh, community alive, the TFM Nation. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on other haul videos. So, yeah. Peace out.